Awesome is a wonderful time to come to Scotland. The crowds are diminished, the weather is relatively calm, and even the midges have been chased off. It's a great time then to look back in a recent campaign that we had called West Coast Waters. This celebrated basically all that was great and good about Scotland's west coastline. Lochs, beaches, seafood, whisky and more await. I'm going to focus on three particular regions. I'll get to Sky and the Edge of Hebrides further on in the video, but I'm going to start by looking at Argyll, Loch Caber, and the brilliantly named Road to the Isles. Some rugged but majestic attractions await. And how relaxing was that beautiful introduction to the Scottish Highlands. And now that I'm on the coastline, the islands await, the endless opportunities are before me. So I'm going to look at Skye because I have to. I mean, it is evocative, it's melancholy, it's got what captures for many people their image of Scotland. So I'll have a quick look at Skye, but I'm also going to have a quick look at the small isles. So that's Egg, Muck, Rum and Canna that are easily reachable from the port of Malague on the west coast. Particularly in this video, I'm going to focus on Egg, and rum with a quick glimpse of what they have to offer, the scur of egg which dominates that island but also the rugged peaks of rum. Enjoy.
And so on this occasion, my autumnal journey is coming to an end. And I close in the Outer Hebrides, the Western Islands of Scotland in the country's far northwest. These islands hold a very, very special place in my heart and I suspect in the heart of anyone who has ever visited. The islands have their own microculture, their own way of doing things, but they also have a great energy and a vibrancy. On a sunny day, you could not find more tropical looking beaches than these guys. On this occasion, my focus is on Bernary, the Uists, Air Escape, Barra and Vattersea as I work my way down south through the island chain, picking out great highlights along the way. Which leaves you with one big question then. Where on the west coast will you find yourself in 2020? <laughs>